Hello, all my cat lovers. Here's little Stubby. He just wanted to jump on and say hi. <laughs> right, buddy? No, really, he is in here yelling at me because I'm making his din-din. Yeah, and don't mind his ears. Tomorrow's grooming day. And, yeah, so I wanted to show everybody what I call raw food toppers. And this is really helpful if you have a raw feeding cat, which I hope you do because it's the very best thing for them. And anyway, even even if you have a cat that's been eating raw for a while, like Stubbin here, sometimes they can just get a little finicky and a little picky. You know, raw food to them gets kind of boring, sort of like us eating our super clean diets of like, you know, low fat meats of, well, I shouldn't say that, I mean, but like lean, lean meats um, and and vegetables and you know all the good stuff we're supposed to eat and it just gets kind of plain boring tasting after a while so we like to add stuff to our food to make it taste a little better sauces and whatnot so this is kind of like the same concept for your cat for their raw food and it is very um what's the word very important <laughs> that you use the right kind of topper on your raw food because raw food and cooked foods should never be mixed together for your pet. And the difference is any cooked food is any canned food or any dry food. Those are cooked. Those are actually cooked foods. The raw food is exactly like it sounds. It's raw. It's not cooked. You can't mix the two together because cooked food is much harder for your pet's digestive tract to digest and it'll take a lot longer. And then what happens is it actually allows the raw food to be in the stomach longer than it should because the raw food digests very quickly. Raw food on average digests between three hours and the cooked food can take as long as nine hours. So if you mix the raw and the cooked foods together, you have a problem because the raw food's in their stomach too long and then it allows the bacteria in the raw food to become dangerous when it's fed by itself without cooked foods, it's not dangerous because they process it really quickly. So you gotta use the, the right kind of toppers. So this is what we got here for his meal. This is my homemade raw. I just buy the meat with the bones and the organs already ground up because I don't have the time and energy to grind it all myself. I buy it from a company that ships it in already done and then I just add my raw green vegetables to it for him so <clears throat> that's what we got and then here's a couple different kinds of the toppers that I use this is a company simply nourish and this is freeze-dried shrimp and then we've got this company pure bites and this is freeze-dried duck liver so the cats, number one, really love the freeze-dried meats. They just, they love the flavor of them. They're so stinky, <laughs> which they love, and they're crunchy, and it just really adds that kind of pop and that flavor to their food and really helps them eat if you have a picky eater, especially if you have a cat that you're newly transitioning to raw. This can be, this literally can make the difference of if they will take to the raw um, or not by doing this correctly. So, and yeah, the point of the freeze dried is that, again, it's not cooked, it's freeze dried, so it's a different method of preserving the food and it will be digested really quickly still. So, this is how, sorry, it's hard for me to see what I'm showing you, because everybody's talking, which is great. Hi, everyone, <laughs> but I can't really see past the green bubbles. Um, so this is what I do, I just put the little crumbles on top this was like the end of a bag, so it's super powdery. But I just stick the crumbles on top there. And then I'm actually going to smoosh it down in a little bit because I find with stubborn anyway, if I don't, then he'll be a little booger. He'll eat the toppers off the top of the raw and then come running over and meowing at me wanting more toppers and not eating the rest of his food. So 
I just do that and I mix it in a bit and then we're good to serve it up. Ready, buddy? Yeah? Come on. Oh yeah, he knows the drill. Let's get you up here. Come on. Come on, show everybody where you eat. Right up his stairs and up on his house. On his cat house, we put him on top so that the dogs can't get to him, see? Ha <laughs> ha, they can't climb up there. <laughs> so, anyway, and yep, he's starting to dig in. So that's how you add, I'm not showing you the cat, there he is. <clears throat> that's how you can add some healthy, yummy toppers to your cat's raw diet and help them eat super well. Have a great night everyone, bye.